Okay, hello there. Oh. Ah, uh, there we go. Everything seems to be working fine. <laughs> you. Me. What did I do? We speak. We hear you loud and clear. Oh, God. Where am I? There I am. <laughs> oh, God. But here I am. Once again. Be back with some more Kerber Burber. Kerber Burber. Kirby. Kerbal. So I hope y'all are having a good day. Happy, you know, day before 4th of July. That is not what I meant to talk about, but okay, well. Okay, well, the was as the day off, so of course it's good. You know what? Fair. Uh, a day off is always a good one. Same here. No work today or tomorrow. Well, at the very least, you guys get to enjoy uh, Fourth of July off, so that's always good. And yes, more bombs. Faster and more power. Hell yes. No such thing as too much firepower. Humming bomb. This is gonna get tricky. They're gonna have to bury what's left of Yana Shoop Cat. He's about accurate. Blasting off again. Original waste. Waste where life began. Ooh, spooky. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised we waited this long to get a desert world. Desert world to be in it, since it's a Nintendo game. Normally, that's like World Two. Spawning the, the ranger ability, then. Co host for the day, you know what? Uh, sure, I will take it. Hmm, me? There we go, Discord was muted for some reason, but now you should be good. But... I mean, th this both works for, you know, co-host, and um, we can pick up where we left off last night with, uh... I don't know if we'll be able to, uh... <laughs> like, do that without supplying context. Context? And documentation. 
Who oh, haven't needed it? You don't need to. You don't need to give me context. Uh, the new D the new Dungeons and Dragons uh, Unearthed Arcana, which is what like you said, seventy seven pages. Uh, let me check. I literally have it in the next tab. Uh, yes, seventy seven pages. Ah, yes. For context, for those who are listening in, uh, and just kind of have the whole stream tabbed out at the moment, which, fair. Uh, me and Citrus spent a few, spent like, what, like two hours last night going over the start of, um... Uh, probably closer to three. Something like that. But we spent a decent bit of time just talking about the new... It, it was nearing midnight and we started maybe just a bit before nine. Yeah, we have strong. <laughs> I don't know if you have it, but I have strong feelings about a lot of the new D and D stuff. <laughs> oh, Last Bard, wish. what have they done to you? Last squishy. Good or bad? Mostly bad. And and like not even bad in the sense of like oh they nerfed things. Bad in the sense that like oh they made something way too way too strong or way too weak. It is like, you know, we've gone from, like, things being, like, you know, relatively tight to now things just being completely off the rocker. Like, uh, for instance, rather than learning a couple spells every few levels from level 10 onward, Bard. uh, from any, from any class, Bard instead, at level 10, unlocks the ability to prepare spells from any spell list. Bard just says... Just Bard's entire spell list is every spell in the game. Pokemon go face and halfway across time. That is weird, but yeah, no. Uh, 5.5 Bard is nutty. And I don't think in a good way. Citrus sounds a bit quiet compared to the music. Uh, I will turn up Turn that up, and I think he should be better now. Camera off, come in. <laughs> All right, motherfucker, you asked for it. I did, the, this time on command. Why does the duck scream like a hawk? Uh, I don't know. Better? Better. Okay. K.O. And floor ice cream! Hold on, floor Mr. ice cream! Floor ice cream gives you health! Hold on, Mr. Stream, man. Welcome to the stream. I thought that was the way down there. But, uh. Yeah, no. Hey but, yeah, no, for uh, those who are now just tuning in, me and Citrus have had uh, a chance to go through the new Dungeons and Dragons uh, Unearthed Arcana. And, oh boy, we've had some strong, strong opinions. Also, Crystal Needle. Nice. Oh, the... <laughs> oh, oh, dear, oh, me, oh, my. Have, have you been... Have you been stabbed by a rock? <laughs> that shit hurts. This one's crystal, so it's fragile and it'll break. Boy, glass, but... But worse. Glass, but not processed and clean. Uh, well, more like glass, but more structurally stable. And with many more irregular irregular uh, fracture points. Like, yes, glass is a relatively stable material, but it's also incredibly fragile. The crystal isn't as fragile, but if you break it, oh, those pieces are not going to be pretty. It is going to be painful. But yeah, no, uh, Citrus is... Uh co-hosting with me today as we talk about D&D. Uh, &D. 
And he also did a super, superstar die percent earlier. How did that go? D die? Dot. Die percent? I'm gonna have to ask you to explain that one, Chief. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious on that one myself. Are you just trying to eliminate as many of your lives as possible from game start? Just die. Ah, just fastest, fastest way to die. Gotcha. Walk head first into the first Waddle D repeatedly. If the said Waddle Dee doesn't die in one hit, because in some games they do. I got like 20 seconds, I think. That's. I'd say that's pretty good. I don't know the leaderboards on that. But, uh. Yeah, no, I think we. We went over Bard and Cleric. Cleric just kind of seems. Mid. It, it, it's sort of like middling side grades all around. Yeah, and then Bard went from up, like it has like a bunch of nice buffs, and then just magical secrets. World record is 16 seconds, I think. So, ah, that's actually so four seconds off. That's that pretty damn good. That, that's pretty damn good, I'd say. Wah 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 wah. We found the D. D, D, D. This is the name we should know. D, 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 he's the star of the show. He's the star of the show. Something's gotta be up here. Oh, there is. Third target, and I don't think there's anything else here. Alright, but, um. I think the only thing we didn't go over is what well, we, 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 we we had just completed our discussions of cleric and its subclasses, and we're about to get into druid. Oh boy, the nature boy! If we decided to continue the discussion today on stream, I mean, I'd be totally fine with it. Better be fine with it. See, he's happy. I... And you, I, do you really want to make Kirby angry? I don't want to. No. I, I've seen what happens when Kirby gets slightly miffed. I don't want to see what happens when he gets angry. I... Fair enough. Finally got a catch card. Oh, heck yeah. Nice. Yo, what, what Kerbos? What Kerbos? What Kerbos did you want? You can't just say that and not tell us the Kerbos. Chicken. Or chicken. Adventure for NES, Superstar Ultra for DS, and Dream Buffet for Switch. That is... Oh, yo, Ultra for DS. Oh my god, I want to pick that game up. Because uh, my little brother had it as a kid. We, we two-playered it a lot. But uh, he he kept it when he moved out. So, uh, I've not had access to it since, and I want to get myself my own copy. God, I love that game. I wonder that the one Kirby game that I wanted to play for a while that my brother had that I just never had the chance to play was, weirdly enough, Mass Attack. Fair enough. Gotcha. Alright. And yeah, no, I I need to pick up Dream Buffet. Same. I, I want to play Kirby Fall Guys. I, I know the sun that might sound derogatory, but I mean that in the nicest way possible. It's... I've seen it. It is such a funky time. And yeah, welcome back, Kirita. Hey there, Kir. 
also got Mario and Sorry Dino. if I didn't sound immediately enthusiastic there. That's... That was not intentional. Uh, I think I might still be a little tired from uh, helping Mom with the uh, moving stuff that's going down. And oh, hey, new chat. New, chat. new chatter. Drippy dude, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you. Welcome for some Kirby and D and D. I don't think I think two things that are very uh, different ends of the spectrum. Not opposites, but very different ends. I don't know. They both focus around Eld Eldritch Horrors yeah, as you get further on. Were you in the chat I watched earlier this one? Uh, did you find our Pokemon Go finds this weekend? Uh, I know a certain, a certain, uh, fruit, uh, did in fact find, um, a shiny shroomish. That I did, that I did. Oh, oh what Eldritch Horror? These can wait. I have found the hotel. And yes, what Elder Tour? Ah, ah, that one. Ah. Oh, look at that little little dude. He's the receptionist. He looks so happy. Gotta be moving quick on this. Okay. Go, 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 go. There we go. And yeah, Chaos Elfless, uh, I have heard. Elphis, I've heard. I've heard it is a wild ride. Well, may I take your order? Sorry, this is Burger King. Sir, why did you raid the Burger King Burger Ball? Burger. Fair enough. I know. I, no, I missed. Yeah. Defeat Florina using ring. Oh. Uh, oh, that's a requirement. <laughs> Oh, we're, oh, that's gonna be an interesting thing, but uh, while I do that, um... Uh, you got Druid ready to go? Why, yes, I do! Okay, so... Welcome to your local d, &D podcast. <laughs> well, with Kirby as the background, uh, I guess. Weirder so, things have happened. So, for Druid, the design note Druid updates... The shorthand for all the updates are Channel Nature has been cut in favor of restoring Wild Shape to second level. Okay. Which is... Okay. I kind of actually liked the alternate uses for Wild Shape. I, I don't even really remember what the alternate uses were. Uh, you could use them as a, as a like sort of lesser version of uh, Healing Word. It's like an AoE, if memory serves. Ah... Uh made druids a bit more of a potent healer uh druidic na now also means you will always have speak of animals prepared fair enough that that just kind of makes sense for druids primal order is an, is a new first level feature which lets you improve your armor and weapon proficiencies or your spell casting Ooh. so sort of a copy paste of divine order from cleric 
and Kirito's asking who's going to tell Sarah about the changes. Um. Oh, uh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. You are just. Okay. Okay. Never mind. That was. Who's the real wielder of the winds now? <laughs> Box. Box? There was a box. You just flew right past it. But I assume it was one you already picked up. Yeah, we. we the, the, that was the last wallaby for the stage, so we, this level's pretty much. Ah, right, yeah. This level's pretty, uh. Figured out. This, this level's done and over with. Anything else is just gotchas. Which will be a collect. Which will be a thing later on to get. Worry, I'll worry about that when I get to it. Oh, God. Uh, citrus helps with uh, the mama. So tired today. I, I feel that. I also feel just the vibe of the Ryan emoji. Xenoblade Mr. Streamer went, look. I will gladly do an entire series-wide playthrough of not just the Xenoblade, but the entire Xeno, so Xeno series. I just have to find a way to get a hold of Xeno Saga for the PS2 without breaking my bank <laughs> in my streamer. Oh my god. Let me look into it. No, trust me. Xenos... Xenoblade 2 is one of my top five games of all time. I thoroughly enjoyed Xeno 2. I still personally enjoy Xeno 1 more, but that's just more of a personal preference. I have not touched 3. Okay, I lie. I did touch 3 for a little bit. Watermelon. And that was like day one stream, but unfortunately life kind of got in the way of me doing a Xeno 3 stream. And I really, I really want to do a Xeno 3. Do a stream. Wait, which is the one on PS2? That should be Xeno Saga. I apologize for my, for my, my brief disappearance. Uh. Uh, for reference to folks at home, uh, me and my mother are moving out of our, our current home somewhere else soon enough, and we're just doing a lot of packing and running around. N near most everything is done. We're just sort of on the last little straggler bits. Target time. Target time. Holy shit, you actually got target time within fucking 12 milliseconds! What the? Yo! Uh, also, uh. Yes, I'm I not sure if this was answered in regards. What was the question about Xenoblade answered in regards to PS2? Uh, yes, it was Xenosaga, and I had. So before I had to sell a bunch of my games, I had Xenosaga episodes 1 and 2. It's finding Xenosaga Episode 3 that's the big money 
investment. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> speaking of speaking of money investments, uh, <laughs> do you have any idea like the market price of like some of the games that I snagged with uh, Kier when we went to that bookstore? <laughs> it was not off the top of my head, no. But uh, damn lower, but damn higher than what we got them for. <laughs> That's for sure. I believe it. It was like I I, I legitimately don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'll I can look into that after stream, but okay. Uh... Wow. Uh... Tie and tie and like tie three and tie two are all over the place and what people are selling them for. I mean that makes sense considering like I think tie tie one and two. I just watched Super Smash 64 DK explode himself with a bomb. Oh, I feel that. But uh, I think. Uh -oh. I think Tai 1 and 2 have been, yeah, Tai 1 and 2 have done a HD re-release from the original, from the original people who made them, so they've been, you know, updated and they even, like, fixed some things. Right, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, I think the only ones that we haven't, like, the only one that we haven't gotten yet is Tai 3, so that might be a big... And whatever the GBA one was. I think there's also, like, a Flash 4 theme, but I, uh, we don't talk about that. Ah, time for Monster Hunter Kirby. I think the charge attack off just. Ah, uh, right, but all of the games, I. Th oh, no, there is actually a Tie 4. Uh. That, yeah, it's a, it is a sort of like flash game on Steam. Finding a copy of her air ride for, with the case for under 50 bucks. Man, if you find it, let me know, please. I've been looking for that too. I actually always wanted to play Kirby Air Ride. I've never played Kirby Air Ride. I have Kirby Air Ride. I remember you saying that. Like, uh, I grew up with that as my, uh, like, like as my childhood Kirby. Like, Air Ride was my childhood Kirby. Well, that and Crystal Shards for the N64, but I actually first obtained that game for my own when it hit the Wii's Virtual Console. My earliest memories of it were from when, back in the day, hotels, at least some of the hotels that uh, my family went to, had a, like, built-in N64 to the TV sets that you could, like, rent games on. That is hella nice. And I would always, 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 if they let me, uh, Damn it. rent Pokemon Snap and Kirby 64. <laughs> Both are fantastic options, and uh, uh, nowadays with um, the Switch uh, Virtual Console, I have already 100%ed uh, Kirby 64 on my Switch. That is fair. That I've been like uh, I I, I kind of accidentally my well okay no I didn't accidentally my way into doing it I, I kind of did it on purpose forgetting that it existed but uh, I made it to the final section of Ripple Star beating it, but I had collected all the crystal shards before then, so I literally missed out on a cutscene, so I can't view it in the cutscene viewer. God damn it. Citrus. On that file. I'm sorry, but it is not for sale. That game holds too much, uh, holds too many memories for me to, uh, part with it. Yeah. 
my sincerest apologies, but, uh, no. Use Dolphin. Uh, I would, but Dolphin is very taxing on my computer. But... Is it taxing on the old computer, or taxing on this new bad boy? Um, I don't know, I... Have you tried it on this new bad boy? I tried Dolphin for a bit. Oh, God. Also, I think there might be a, uh, like, stronger, uh, GameCube emulator out there re released more recently. I don't quite remember. I remember hearing word on the grapevine about something about it. I don't even remember a name. I'm not sure either. Also, hey, Conrados. Glad to have you. Hey, oh. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we're just getting everybody in chat today. Yeah, no. <laughs> Popular streamer today. I am okay with this. I love having all of you here. All of you make it worth it. Remember when we were going to talk about the D and D PDF? Yeah, that was a fun time. Uh, yeah, that was like a good solid fifteen <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. <laughs> No, the topic now is is that I am not giving chat my copy of Kirby Air Ride. I thought it was. You could pr you can pry it from my cold dead hands. That could be arranged. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Or would I? Nah, I wouldn't. Nah, that's the. Stop. It's the same sort of thing of like you can pry up my copy of Path of Radiance from my cold dead hands, and you're gonna have to kill me twice in order to make it make it sure. Hey, I mean, I'm also the guy who, who listen, but I'm pretty sure that Kirby's Air Ride is not the most uh, like expensive or rare disc I have. Considering the fact that I have both the Game Boy Player and the disc for it, as well as uh, the Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc. Same hat. That was one thing that I was refusing to sell in my collection. It was like, I spent so long finding this, I'm not giving that up. Oh no, I got it on release. I know you did. Mine, <laughs> mine I had to find secondhand. The D. Ah, uh, fair enough. A D. You. Wow. wow. Wow, wow, Listen, dude, they just really want to get some, like, subs. I, I don't know what they sell at Wawa. There are, like, none around me. There are none around me either. I, re I really actually want to go to one. Oh, that was actually an achievement to take a nap by the pool. Oh, that's, that's incredible. I love that. Uh... Uh, no. uh, also, another thing that's probably one of the rarer things that I have is, uh, on my GameCube, there are pop-out decals on it, like, that cover the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, like, it's, they're, they're literally, like, decals made to fit on a GameCube, like, on the color parts of the GameCube. Uh, and it was the pre-order bonus for Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. My GameCube actually has that too. Same hat, same hat. Is there anything I think I can use to clean stuff with? Though uh, those decals are probably more, are probably worth more disconnected from the from the GameCube on their original sheet than they are uh, on the GameCube. Me more colored Game Boy. Same. The like I found my Game Boy Color recently, actually. I never actually owned a GBC. Uh, the thing is, is like I have owned a, a couple. I owned a Pokemon one a long time ago. Ended up like I don't know, losing that one, or like my older brother took it. But now I have a lime green one that I had lost for God knows how long, but refound it. Nice. I don't. I don't think he's willing to part with that one either. Who buy a Shiki? I don't think he'd even be willing to part it with me, but I, I also wouldn't ask that of him. 
You know what I really need to do is find my Game Boy Micro Charger. Oh, fucking move, my man. Sorry, Pucho, I was gonna get a Ah! Ah, nice, nice, nice! Ah, uh, yeah, no, I know where my DS Lite is. Unfortunately, its hinge is a little cracked, so I don't like using it very much. I mainly use my original style DS and my 3DS. My DS Lite... Though my DS Lite is also the, uh, that, like, special edition black one with the, uh, silver and gold Dialga and Palkia. You know, the one that they re-released as a, uh, special switch for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, which I kinda want, but I, I could not justify it. Not on my life. Yet. And yet. One of these listen, I still keep telling myself, one of these days, I'm going to get that, uh, like, Pokemon Green Nintendo 2DS that was only released in, uh, Japan. Like, I want that one specifically because there is no other way for, like, I, I can't get Pokemon Green legally any other way. And even then, now, with the eShop shut down. I don't think it would be technically legal, but it would be mostly just using whatever servers people have online now for reactivating the eShop. Fair. Um, my DS Lite used to, was used to the point where the screen only shows shades of red. I'm still hunting for the Nintendo Hanafuda cards. Ah, that, fair enough, fair enough. That mood and that DS has been loved. Loved. Like, there's no... That way. DS... Like, I'm, I don't know how one even does that to their DS. My original DS bought launch years hasn't even done that. The only thing that it has is weird is that uh, its A button's a little sticky. Like it, it, like it sticks down and they have to push hard on it a little bit to get it to, you know, work. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even know how it happened. I'm, I'm just going to assume good use. I also used my 3DS to the point where the 3D slider fell off from age. That also mood. Uh, what? A, I. What? Then again, I don't. Re I, I didn't really ever mess with the 3D too too much. But then again, I am also much more known for playing Pokemon over damn near any other franchise, and quite frankly, the Pokemon 3DS games when you were in. With 3D on, the frame rate went to shit. Yeah, it did. Use me. And lots of use that. That would do it. Wow, what, what, what have you done? You just sent that man careening into a projectile. He knew what he did. He knew what was coming to him. Did he? Yeah. I still need to find my copies of Tomodachi Life and New Super Mario Bros. from like 7 years ago. See, I have a physical copy of Tomodachi Life, and, uh, like, I don't quite remember where I put it, but, uh, I, like, I know I still have it. It's just in one, it's in one game case or another. But I accidentally lead my way into a virtual copy as well, back when you could buy games from the Nintendo website using using things like the platinum and gold points. Which you just absolutely win there. Same thing with a uh, same thing with Animal Crossing New Leaf and and uh uh, Kid Icarus Uprising. Spent all of my points in the... On the Kirby bag, that is... No, no. Like, wait, like, was there a previous Kirby grocery bag? Or, like, is this more recently? But either way, uh, big move. Uh, 
It is Forgotten Land themed. Ah, uh, that one. Ah, uh, yes, the most... Oh, uh, yes, that one. Uh, I have gotten a fair few things from the store. Basically anything from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I am and a couple things for uh, Kirby, as, as Kier can attest. Damn soul, but we get something kid interest related. I know. I'm just. Oh no! I fell off my spinning game chair while standing back for some reason. Oh, you're gonna be okay there, my man. And I know you love. Cur and I know you love Cur Kirby, babe. I love you. Everybody loves Curb. It's hard to not love Curb. You spin me right round, baby. Fall down. What happened here? What the hell? Are you okay, my dude? I'm sorry. That was mean. <laughs> are you okay? We are genuinely concerned. Hey, remember when we were going to talk about the movie as well? <laughs> I think that was a fever dream. <laughs> Hurt my pie just a wee bit more than my back. I mean, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that too. Not that it didn't hurt my back. I hope that your back is gonna be okay. <laughs> it hurt more when I. <laughs> Followed up by elbowing. Yeah, I remember that. I remember you saying about that. That, ugh, that, n n nope. Yeah, that sounded like it hurt. Ah, uh, yes, more D's. No, stop. <laughs> Not worse when it was an after school thing, the fourth grade crashed head first into a table like ooh, yeah, that that sounds like it would hurt. Oof. Yikes. Okay, so before we get more off topic, because we've been at this for nearly an hour. Correction, mouth ugh, mouth first, yeah. Okay, uh, before we get more off topic, uh drew it. Ah, yes, Druid. Uh, I believe Ooh. we left off in Primal Order? Yes, we did. Front Adult front teeth snapped in half. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, wild Shape has returned to second level. The feature has returned to using beast stat blocks and has the new and has new rules for you to interact with those stat blocks. In addition, Wild Shape is now a bonus action for all Druids, and Swim Speeds are now available from the beginning. Hmm. That is... Fascinating. I kinda like that. And then the boat cut my head off. Oh, my Ashiki, what the... You concern me, my dude. Also, ooh. Ah! With, with the tooth thing? Same! Big mood! That happened to me, too! Same hat! Though, uh, it wasn't into a table leg, it was, uh, face first into a, like, into a wa- into a water slide, because I slipped on their st on the stairs. You both concern greatly. Also, yes, Chris Crystal Needle. It's so fucking pretty! Yeah, no, like, uh, you know the two, like, front incisors? Yeah, uh... The tooth immediately to, like, my right, like, snapped clean in half on the diagonal. Not gonna go too much more into it. It's now covered by a crown, it's fine. There. But yeah, 
Uh, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, my dude. Okay, uh... Spell casting. One noteworthy change. Spell preparation is no longer tied to spell slots. Yeah, fair enough. Yes. That's that that seems to be a consistent thing because they've eliminated learned casters. Some Which is thing. dumb. Uh, Wild Resurgence has moved from 15th to 5th level and has been redesigned. The new feature answers the desire to have more flexibility between wild shape and spells. You say that. But I don't know if you actually do. I don't believe you, Watsi. Elemental Fury is a new 7th level feature, allowing the druid to increase the effectiveness of their cantrips or attacks with weapons in wild shape. Ah! They're just giving it the Divine Str- Jacob, they just gave it Divine Strike from Cleric. Casting, sorry. From the new Cleric. You said spell casting it. Let's look at them. <laughs> You're fine, my dude. Drill. Oh boy. Hi! Oh god. My friend Bartley Fire Emblem for the G. Yo! Oh, that's really nice. Also, holy crap, that was close. Within that. a second. That has been happening more than it should. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know. That seems kind of par for the course at this stage. I have to play on DS Lite, by the way. Fair. Fair enough. Uh, I still have my original DS and my Game Boy Advance SP for that kind of thing. I have my original GBA, and I have the GBA player uh, permanently installed into my GameCube. Yeah, same here. Honestly, I need to be better about using the GBA player for a bunch of those things, but that's more of a, uh, for when I move kind of thing. Because, yeah. uh, at the moment, my current console setup does not really let me, uh, console and talk to people online at the same time, which is kind of annoying. Because I am much more prone to like playing things if I if I can talk to others while doing them. Ooh. So that's why I, like half the time I don't do much in the way of console gaming as of late. A live studio audience helps. <laughs> and ah uh, yes. And ah yes, Kira, I'm going to install the GameCube directly into my brain. Goodbye, Kerbo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had it, and then I somehow lost it. All in the span of five seconds. I should go play the Wii U. I need to make sure my Wii U is still in working order. Ah, uh, mine still is, it seems, was last time I checked. I also haven't really plugged it in, like, forever. Because, like, all of the games that I would want to play are currently on the Switch. Excluding one. Which is just... <laughs> hi, hi, X. I have a few other things on my Wii U that I enjoy. Uh, like, for instance, uh, it is still the only console with the original Duck Hunt that will let you play in the original uh, intended uh, gameplay style. Sorry, I'm saying uh a lot. My brain is just not working today. All the gears are spinning, but just not all of them are touching. There we go. Uh, which is your good point? I'm gonna throw myself through a window. God damn, not again! Oh, uh, which was first console? Uh, which was their first favorite, which was the Wii.
I think I know for Fair enough. I think my first console that I ever ended up owning was like a PlayStation 2. The first console I ever owned I like specifically owned myself. Okay, are we counting handhelds or is it just uh home consoles? Uh, I think we're just going to say both for the sake of sake of simplicity. Counting like all all things considered, I think the first console that I truly owned myself, for myself, was my Game Boy Advance SP. I was allowed to use my older brother's Game Boy Color, which he eventually gave to me. Uh, as well as his N64, which he later gave to me. And eventually, he got me a GameCube. But... Uh, the first ever console I truly, truly owned for myself was my Game Boy Advance SP that I got from an Easter present. I know... Oh, God. Kirby? Nope. Nope, you're gone. You're done. You're done. Pack it up. Go home. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just go straight to fucking jail. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I think if I had to rate all of my favorite consoles, I think I'd have to put, like... If this is in no order, this is just loose. I would probably put, uh, GameCube, Nintendo DS, 3DS, uh, Wii, and, uh... Game, and probably Game Boy Color, I guess, or Switch. It is hard to not love the Switch. It's really hard to not love the Switch. And, and PS4 is also up there, honestly. Fully fair. Uh, if I had to rank, like, just... Because I, I didn't really grow up with a PlayStation. Uh, I was a Nintendo kid all the way. The only... I had a PlayStation originally, but I think it was a rental. And we had it for a long time. I've been trying to pick up some of the games that I used to have for it. So that I can use them with the PlayStation 3 that my older brother just sort of left here. <laughs> the stage is gonna kill me. The stage is gonna fucking kill me. This is the thing. This is the thing that's gonna fucking break me. <laughs> Commune with nature is now a ninth level feature. Oh boy, yes, let's get back into it. <laughs> Please, something to help stabilize my sanity. <laughs> Improved elemental theory is now a 15th level feature. Oh Improving god, no, no. Whatever not... option the druid ha chose for elemental theory. Kermaroth. When did you get DD? Bitch, I live rent-free in this motherfucker's head. And yours. How could I not? You know what? There. Even if... Hey, he's out of practice with my voice. Kermaroth, motherfucker! The one-winged froggy... Uh, <laughs> it all started as a bad joke, and now that joke has evolved. <laughs> See, this happened because I accidentally uh, started using Kermit's voice for, for when uh, our dear streamer here was fighting King Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 1. From then on, he became a reoccurring, uh, nuisance. You know Devil Artemis? It's kinda like that. Yeah, no, like, I, it's literally just sort of based off of Devil Artemis' uh, thing of Kermit. I should, because I gave him a D&D &D character stat block. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Kier knows. Kier understands. Kier has been here for the lore. Been here since its conception. Yeah. <laughs> Did I get it? I think I got it. <laughs> oh, eh, oh, eh, oh. oh, this kills me. This is gonna. <laughs> it's always, it's always under a second. <laughs> I will never, ever let you have peace. He will. He very much will. I will. I am stuck with this frog for the rest of my days. Oh, I, I was referring to the, uh, to the fucking uh, clutch time. No, fair. But you're not getting rid of me either, bitch. Oh god damn it! <laughs> I just want peace. I just want to eat my chicken fries in peace. Oh shit! Are those chicken fries? Uh, yeah, they're chicken fries. Got a got a fresh order from uh, Burger King. Not sponsored. I don't actually know if I could eat those. Because, haha, -ha, sesame allergy pops up in the places you have no idea where you would expect. Oh god, I know. Stupid adult onset allergies. Gotta love it. Imagine you were sponsored for chicken fries. If I got sponsored by Burger King, of all things, I... Well, at that stage, you're legally obligated to play Sneak King. Do I still own that? You had that? I owned it! What self-respecting shitpost streamer do you take me for? Not self-respecting, obviously! I, I see you as a shitpost streamer, but self-respecting is a stretch. Insert the Ardanian Empire voice. Think you can take me? Don't forget me. And I'm sorry, that was really mean of me. Nah, you're fine. I, I'm actually gonna look over my shelf real quick. Woo! Nailed it. Uh, yeah, no, Sneak King. Sneak King is currently on the shelf. Sneak King still plagues your home. Do you know what else plagues my home that we really all should play one of these days? That one Bratz game that you still have. Uh, I was gonna say more Dokapon Kingdom. Hey, that- hey, I mean, that one got a Switch re-release, so I mean... That's my point. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, just just throw a few different people in with that game and just watch as the, as the havoc commences. <laughs> Doka P Mario Party is where you go to have a nice, fun time. Dokapod is where you go to decide whether or not you're gonna murder them in your sleep. Uh, TRG, anyone? <laughs> oh my god, they- I swear to god, they wanted- they wanted <laughs> blood with one another. <laughs> like, I'm entirely convinced Tim was just the innocent bystander in all of that, and just... It was like Mario Party 3 all over again. And Mario Party 3 had good reason for John to be so angry. Oh, funny. Oh god, it's haunted! Like your shelf with Sneak King! It's not the worst thing I've had. I have haunting my game library. I'll be perfectly honest. I don't know what what could be the worst, but we'll find out. I mean, we all know the worst overall is is the N64 that one guy stole from a from a fucking funeral home. Oh God, yeah, no, I I remember it. I remember that. I I know his name. I know his name. I'm not saying it because you know. Uh, we're not- we, we do not contone what he did, but let's just say he got his comeuppance. Awa awa! Awa awa. 
Where? 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 Go back! Go back! Go back? You missed Wawa's! Where did I miss the D? Circle! You need a circle! I know, I'm trying to find a circle! Uh, okay, maybe keep going. You might need, like, bulb or something? Possibly. We got- we gotta find- or, like, ring? Or narrowly avoided a death in a pit? One of those three. It's you. It's me. Goodbye. Mario Party with viewers. Mario Party 3 with viewers win. I mean, Mario Party with with people. Who knows? Look. Look, if I'm going to play a multiplayer board game with, with people on stream, I'm going straight for the throat. And if it's not Dokapon, it is going to be 100% uh, fear. <laughs> he knows it. AKA 100% orange juice. Which is just all, all of the anarchy. Now where's the vending machine? There. The floor. It's lava. You're gonna need to get that vending machine and come back. Yeah. There's cutter up there, and I'm gonna just gonna quickly drop my copy ability just so I don't. You. Ow, ow. Where? 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 go. See, I would miss all the noises because I never play the sound on. Entirely fair. I do the same half the time. I refuse. I, I, I look, look, if, if only because, uh, I played with sound on as a kid and, uh, my parents got rather annoyed with me. That is fair. As well as one of my childhood friends who got annoyed. You, you, uh, Jacob, go back. Turn around. You walked right past it, you fool, you hooligan. I'm not. I, I'm getting a distraction. Waddle Dee. Wawa. <laughs> Saving the Wawa's one, one D at a time. Um. If I. If I didn't. First of all. Sword. Uh, first of all, if I didn't play with sound on, I never. Better the better slicing ability. Fight me. Uh, you'll die a braver man than most. So uh, be it. But, um... Oh, God. If I didn't play with sound on, I never would have gotten to experience one of my absolute, um... favorite, uh, soundtrack, which is the Brave Vault soundtrack. Entirely fair. Look... I don't know who to Considering say. how many of those songs you have sh you have shoved under your D&D character playlist and uh, have recommended into the party playlist uh, managed by Kier, the DM. Okay, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. They decided that to give the guy who wrote the Attack on Titan opening themes access to making an entire RPG soundtrack and it... Shows. And yes, babe, you do. All of your playlists are fantastic. Oop. Wild Hammer. It is time for the big bop. Bonk, 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 bonk. Anyway, D&D &D time. <laughs> we, we keep getting distracted. Uh, Im Improved Elemental Fury is a new 15th level feature, improving whatever option the druid chose for Elemental Fury. 
Uh, Arch Druid now includes the ability to turn unexpected use or unexpended, not unexpected uses of Wild Shape into a spell slot. It's also returned to a level 20, replacing ability, replacing Epic Boons. Epic Boon feats will return in a future UA, but they will not be built into, par into class level progression. So, kind of like what we had with um, Bard earlier. Yeah, and with everyone else. They're, they're just removing epic boons from as being level 20 things. Everything just gets their class capstones again. Fair. Uh, still, like, wisdom focused. Still a d8. Hit die. Int whiz saves. Choose two from a list that looks pretty much the same. Simple weapons, so so uh, druids have lost access to scimitars. Which is weird. Yeah, especially considering scimitars have been kind of a thing in druids' arsenal since, like, I what, Tui? Something like that. It's like, it's a staple. It's iconic. And, of course, they automatically get herbalism kits. Good. They lost medium armor. I mean, that I can kind of see, but... I mean, yeah, considering the fact that, like, the whole thing of, oh, can't wear metal armor, even though there's no real hard-lined rule that they can't, it's more just, like, a thing of, like, oh, yeah, it's super frowned upon, and you're not supposed to do it, and some DMs will not let you do it. But, it's, fuck it, give the druid half plate. Let the druid live their life, goddammit. Let the druid have a 19 AC, goddamn you. Don't let them just cap at 16. But now this really does just sort of say, you're building decks. You're building decks? Or at least gonna... trying to start with a plus three is, or, as best as you can. So you could at least get a 17 with a shield. If you're going to try and you're going to like it. Uh, okay, first level, Druidic. Uh, you always have Speak of Animals prepared, and you have the Druidic language. Uh, also, I hate to cut you off. Which, uh, you and only other Druids can, can, like, you know, understand and spot the message. Others can also detect it, like, detect messages written in Druidic with a DC-15 int. Int check, investigation, but can't decipher it without magic, like comprehend language. Here. Uh, oh, uh, what is my number one game of all time? Okay, it swaps on the daily, but it is consistently either uh, Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver or Fire Emblem Awakening. Yeah, Effie Awakening is. Effie Awakening, quite frankly, was, though I'm going to be honest, original Persona 5 is up there. Uh, I'm trying to think of other games. Pokemon Crystal. I'm not sure if you figured it out yet, but I really like Johto. Johto good. Uh, honestly, uh, I like basically every Pokemon game. I have yet to encounter a Pokemon game that I haven't at least kind of enjoyed. Even Dash. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Dash was all right. Dash it was... was a tech demo. <laughs> it, it, it screams tech demo, but you know what? We stand those sometimes. I'm also just making a quick pass through to see if I can. No, play. it's not really a problem. It's just like a difference of opinion. Uh, is it a problem? Personally, Mar my favorite Mario Party is eight. Yeah, no, I, I'm with Citrus on this one. Eight is my favorite, although I haven't played nine, so I can't really give. Uh... I've I've played a fair bit of nine, uh, from around its release. I'm gonna be honest. I, me and me and my little brother and friends, kind of shifted back to eight, pretty quick. I wasn't really too big a fan of the car mechanic because for some reason they tried to make a competitive game have a cooperative. A uh, you know, they try to make competitive cling to it. They, they try tried to... to make a competitive game cooperative while keeping it competitive, and I don't. It, you know, it has a good roster. Yeah, it has a fantastic roster. 
Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I really like it. I also... But, like, the first Mario Party I ever played was 7. So, like, I really grew up with 7 and 8. 8 was, like, my big one, I'll admit. That's, that's right. Yeah. Eight, 8 was eight was mainly my big one, but, like, you know. I Until 8 came out, 7 was the big one. Yeah. I don't want to... Listen, I distinctly remember playing a game with my cousins of seven, like on New Year's Eve, on Pagoda Peak. We set fucking turn limit to as high as it would go, and we played that shit all night. A 50 turn Mario Party game. Is, on Pagoda fucking Peak. Is a. <laughs> that is not only an endurance match, that is a test of friendship. Oh, who is my Mario Party main? No, uh, it, it depends game to game. Because some games have different rosters and whatnot. I'm, so, typically, my main is Yoshi. But, if available, I will be taking Koopa Troopa. If I have to pick mine... Uh, mine is, uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest, and I expect Crucifixion at some point for my choice. I, I stand, um, I stand Toad. No, 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 that's valid, that's valid. Uh, Toad. We, we, res we respect playable Toad in this household. Toad, toad just, but, toad just yeah, no, like, I, I, I primarily main Yoshi, uh, or, or Koopa Troopa Boy, if I'm available, but we'll occasionally diverge into playing DK or Waluigi or, like, Dry Bones on occasion. We have our types. To beat Bonkers with the Cutter, though, I, uh, no, I use Sword. I stand Daisy. Respectable choice. Respectable choice. Respectable choice. Da Daisy is like, if I can play as Daisy, I'll give Daisy a swing every once in a while, but I will stand, I will stick with Toad. But Daisy, absolutely. <clears throat> now Mario Strikers charged. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, Mario Strikers Charge is Daisy all the way, and I'm not taking, and I refuse to back down from that at all. I'm, I'm still a, I'm still a hard Yoshi main, but quite frankly, I play the secondary characters so much more than the captains. <laughs> you know what? Fair. Have you fucking like? I'm going to be blunt with you. Uh, secondary character combo dry bones into Hammer Bro. There's no counterplay. That, that is fair. Dumbest Toad IRL. Or just charge shot, uh, or just charge shot Hammer Bro. It's nuts. The only issue is, is that you have to get Hammer Bro all the way to the end of the fucking map. Yeah. And he's literally the slowest character in the game. But if you manage to full charge shot on him, he literally buries the goalie. Yeah, just a bit. Just a It's a free goal. Yeah. Also, to me, Toad? Hello! I can't do a Toad voice. Not for the sake of I don't want to do a Toad voice, but the more for the f f sake of I really can't right now. My voice is a little... A little funny. Shot from a three-hour discussion on D&D. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that were... <laughs> uh, oh, Lord. Oh, that we were going to try and continue, by God. Uh, okay. Primal Order... You get to choose either Warden or Magician. Oh. <laughs> Warden. Train for battle, you get martial weapons and medium armor. Okay, fair enough. Uh, magician, you get extra cantrip from the primal spell list. In addition, you get a bonus to your int nature checks equal to your wisdom mod. It's literally a copy-paste of what they gave uh, cleric, it's just nature checks vers versus religion checks on the spellcasting one, and the, uh, and the martial one is medium armor versus cleric skipping heavy. 
you know what? Fair. Also, yeah, Super Slugger's roster was peak. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Blue Pianta, that is my boy. I am convinced that he either that he either strikes out or gets multiple home runs. There is no in between. Such is the nature of Pianta. Yeah, I can't. See. You just gotta hit him with the Pianta. You know, sometimes you know it, it's because of something like Super Mario Sunshine that I just can't stand Pianta. To be honest, because of... I'm a just <laughs> listen, dude. That was the that was the Mario. That was the 3D Mario I grew up on. I can't help but be endeared to it. That's fair. The o I will admit, uh, I can't stand um, Isle Delfino Piantas, but Rogue Port Piantas. Oh, them's, them's the good shit. Because I also grew up on Thousand Year Door. Oh, same. I still have my Thousand Year Door copy sitting on the shelf, which is... Uh, I recently regained a... Uh, I say recently, but it was like a year ago now. Uh, regained my copy of uh, of Thousand Year Door because uh, when little brother left, uh, he took the copy uh, I will, that we had. I will admit so, uh, that is. But I kept the memory cards. Man, I will admit uh, I am very. So wonderful. I got the save files. I will admit that is actually one stream that I want to do one day is do a uh, Thousand Year Door stream. Entirely fair. Like, full playthrough, or just muck around? Full playthrough. Fair enough, fair enough. It, look, look, one does not simply start a playthrough without the door and not see it through to the end. Unless you forget. Forget what? Exactly. Exactly what? Cheese. <laughs> Chocolate milk. And yes, yes, Kier, you did get the new one. Probably the first game I remember ever playing was like Mario Kart PS. That shit was peak! I will admit, I never actually played Mario Kart PS. Uh, you should, it's uh, an absolute jam. Me f me who for me who for forget. <laughs> you ever just for- you ever just what? Hammer. Bonk. What were we talking about? What about waffles? I think we were on UAPDF on UAPDF five. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hammer, 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 gimme. See, the thing about Hammer is, is that I've seen from people play this game, is that outside of, a, like, the si like, there are very few copy abilities where the various levels have very, have different utility. Forgotten Realms? Hammer? That shit, you, you'll swap between the different levels of Hammer all the damn time, depending on what you need. I mean, yeah, but, uh... I just want the biggest bunk. I think Hammer has like a secret fourth evolution to it. Indeed it does. There are only two abilities that do. I want Donut. <sighs> donut sounds good, but I can't think of Donut without thinking of... Fire. Hmm? Fire. Hi, Ace. Oh. oh, you son of a bitch. It hurts me too, okay? <laughs> you think... Upgrade so far. Um, my favorite upgrade is um, to the shock and awe of no one gun. Come 
What do you mean you did badly on time? Ami. Ami, shut up. What do you mean I don't play well with others? Ami, shut up. No, that was for the that was for the playthrough with Jimmy. Point, point still stands. A sad day for the seas. Fair. Oh boy. But um, yeah. So far, I have to say, Noble Ranger has been my favorite Forgotten, Forgotten World uh, upgrade so far. If not that, then um, I'll be honest. Toy Hammer is just stupid fun. I just. Sometimes I just want the squeaky bonk. Which can also send you into the fucking stratosphere. Yeah. got reopened because hi there Rengoku. I didn't really pay much attention to Demon Slayer. That's I'm gonna be real. That's a fair and understanding. But I, I enjoy Demon Slayer and oh god. Fire donuts are just a thing now apparently. Well, they are a fried food. Oh. Uh. Don't forget to eat. I, I actually ate before I started stream, and when do I unlock channel points? Uh. By less than a second! Uh. <laughs> Scream. I'm going to lose. I am a going to. I am a going to play whack a mole as myself. Spell casting doesn't seem to be changing much, save for cantrip count. Dom, do we need to talk about it? I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry, he has his. Don't worry, he is well aware he has problems. I have several. No one has stopped me yet. <laughs> we are good. I keep telling him, him his therapist probably should at some point. I have a therapist? You have a psychology degree. I have a therapist? We're working on it. I don't know. I probably know a guy. I went to college with most of them. I don't trust them. Fair enough. <laughs> so, so we, so are we? <laughs> about getting channel points? Um, so the thing about getting channel points is I think I'm only going to get channel points once I get Twitch affiliate. Which... Which I think that's, like, what, at 100? So, Twitch affiliate is... I need 8 hours worth of streaming in a month. I need 7 different stream days. 50 followers, which... Dom, I will be your therapist. I don't I don't think anyone needs to go through that with me. But I appreciate the offer. But if you are a licensed therapist, please hit me up. I will gladly take that. <laughs> do, do you want me to, like send you a link to mine, like, deadass. I mean, sure, after stream. But also, at that point, I need money. Though, I don't know if they accept, like, out... Like, I do it virtual, but I don't know if they accept from outside of state. We'll find out. That's... That's kind of what I... What I'm questioning. Also, we'll see... 
Like, in regards to the will-they-take-out-of-state insurance kind of thing. Uh, also, I can't really do that right now, because money. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Hmm. Barrel. Barrel. Twin Drifle. <laughs> oh. This Giga is... Giga! Drill! Brinka! I love how that's the first immediate thing we thought of at the same fucking time. <laughs> I got... It's a drill! What well... do you expect us to do? Look, Gareth Logan lives rent free in my skull all the time. Spe spe I never finished the series. Um, uh, I'm really bad at watching shows. My best uh, example is watch. Dom, I got you. Just a worse pencil. I mean, it will never be as funny as the pencil. But. Also, I think in the meta, it literally is worse than, uh, than Pencil. There. Like, talk to a wise wallaby if you've missed him. He tells you if you've missed him. I will... I will do that once we finish up this stage. Both because I want to make sure that I'm not missing any of them, and just because, you know... Uh... Like, I, I want to showcase all the powers off at least once each. How did that hurt? I have a headphone. Stop spamming. Like, I'm sorry. No more light spam. Spam it more. No more light spam. No, no more light spam. Hopefully. Time to button mash. Joker, please, no. Stop spamming light. Light is no longer being spammed. We good. For now. Do not get complacent. Don't listen to him. Well, that's the second of the three. Uh, one of posters. Or, you missed one, and it's just saying you've knocked out two of them. Don't, don't. Don't do that to me. Also, yes, this song, absolute fire. Oh yeah, no, it, it it's a hot jam. So, since we're talking about Kirby music now, a uh, favorite final boss theme from a Kirby game. Oh. Oh, damn. I gotta go, Magalore. You know what? Magalore is a hard one to contest. I will not deny that one. Um, mine is one that I haven't gotten to yet in my own free time, but I want to. Um, and I think it'll be like a thing I do on stream. Uh, Astral Birth. Is that Chaos Elphalin? Or Elphalus? 
Nope. Oh god! Not to the much, abyss! Not as much of a jam as legendary hero punch. Okay, look. It is hard. It is hard to not just smile at the hero punch song. Oh, and clock gears. Oh, so uh, one of the Novas. Clock Oh, yeah, clock gears. But um, Astro Birth is. So, S Star Allies? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, the Soul Melter EX final boss. Fair enough, fair enough. Rest in peace, good friend. He just took a nap and got flattened for no reason. But you know, uh, Astro Birth, Astro Birth Void just is such a nice song to me, and I love it. If it's not that, then um. Ah, so you've chosen the superior slicing power. Now that you say that... You're a punk. <laughs> You're a punk and a bastard. Ah, you love people. You deserve that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I very much did. Instead of donut slice, and I was thinking about the knock off. Gotta fly down there. Nope. <laughs> knock on slice and the legendary hero pond are two of the best things. I full on agree. Then again, you know, just Xenoblade by itself just has a fantastic soundtrack. Second level, Wild Companion. As a magic action, you can expend a spell splattery <laughs> wild shape to cast. Find familiar without material components. The, the familiar is always the fey creature type and disappears when you use a lo when you finish a long rest. That is fully fair and understandable. I'm very surprised that Druids didn't originally get something like that. They did from Tasha's, but the fact that it goes away is still dumb. Yeah. Oh, we found none. None of the additional random objectives in this stage. We're gonna be here a bit. Break the crates in the bottom. Getting the raspberry brisk. That actually sounds really good. Flower chicken. Okay, but uh, now druids get clear the secret room without falling. Okay, that's understandable. <laughs> yep, you missed you missed the poster. Shut up. <laughs> Leave me be. Oh. Anyway, druids get fine familiar. They're always fey. That's honestly not too uh... bad. Second, also second level wild shape is a bonus action. You can turn into a beast form that you have learned for this feature. See known forms below. Okay, so you can so you learn forms. That mm. I don't know about that one, but fair enough. I mean, you kind of did, but you because you had to see creatures before, but it was. Mm. It, it was kind of like well, you know, fairly loose on what you can and could have and haven't seen. Um, yeah. Say, for example, uh, oh yeah, no, I just randomly saw a T-Rex one day. It, what? Yeah, but that's too high CR for even a moon druid to, in original to shift into. Uh, you get my point, though. Yeah. Uh, known forms. You start knowing three forms for this 
feature chosen among the beast's stat blocks with a minimum challenge or maximum challenge rating of one fourth and no fly speeds. Wherever the, uh, whenever you finish a long rest, you can replace one of your known forms with another eligible form. Okay. So essentially, you just choose a form a day. It, it's like preparing forms. You can just only prepare from anywhere from three to five a day. I don't know how I feel about that. It's... There's gonna be a definitive meta. Yeah. Like, every druid's gonna have the same five, or some variation on the five. Yeah, they're gonna have the same variation. Mm. Like, you're gonna have a- you're gonna have one that's really fast, you're gonna have one that's reasonably bulky for its level. You're gonna have the fastest flyer you could get your hands on, and the biggest flyer you can get your hands on. And maybe the fastest or biggest swimmer you could get your hands on. Yeah, there, there's obviously gonna be, you know, the best. But... Yeah. yeah. When uh, you learn additional forms as you gain druid levels, and the maximum challenge rating for your forms increase it, cre increases. In addition, at eighth level, you can adopt a form of fly speed. You can use it twice. You can use Wild Shape twice, and regain a use on short rest, all uses on long rest, and you can... and you gain additional uses at certain druid levels. I mean, and... I'll, I'll take the more uses, because didn't, like, weren't, like, druids, like, really limited on how many Wild Shapes they got for the longest time? Yeah, fair few. I think you got, like, maybe two or three at best. So, I, I think just giving the druid, like, more Wild Shapes is just... that's fine. All right. Next. Sorry, got distracted because I wanted to text the thing. Uh, oh, why would you do that? Everyone was mad when you did that. What happened? Your game statistics are replaced with the statistics of the beast, but you retain your int, whiz, charisma scores, class features, species traits, languages, and feats, and you also retain your skill proficiencies and saving throws and use proficiency bonus for them, as well as your HP and hit die. That is... If the creature has the same proficiency as you and its bon and the bonus in its stat is higher than yours, use the creatures instead of your own. If the creature has any legendary or lair actions, you can't use them. You can't cast spells for transforming doesn't break concentration. Fair enough. Uh, your ability to handle objects is determined by your foam's limbs rather than your own. In addition, you choose whether your equipment falls or merges into your new form. More equipment functions as normal, but DM decides whether it's practical for the new form to wear a piece of equipment based on the size and shape. Your equipment doesn't change size or shape to match the new form, and any equipment that the new form can't wear must either fall to the ground or merge. The equipment that merges with the form has no effect until you leave the form. So essentially, they're just saying, like, oh, you know, you can totally wear your. Your bear can now use a great sword, potentially. No, your ape could use a great sword. Because you have you need thumbs for that. Maybe a panda could. Because they have the pseudo thumb. Bear? Yep. At third level you get a druid subclass, either Circle of Land, Moon, Stars from Tasha's, though it also mentions for this playtest use stars from Tasha's cauldron. And, or a new subclass, Circle of the Sea. Okay, Circle of the Sea sounds interesting. I just got a bit of a... Here we go 
again. Uh, wild Resurge, uh, ABI at fourth. Uh, wild Resurgence at fifth. If you have no wild shapes left, you can give yourself one by expending a spell slot. No action required. You can only do this once a turn. In, a, in addition, you can expend a wild shape in order to give yourself a, a first level spell slot. Can't do that again. You can only do that once per long rest. So the turn is... That's not... So, it's the same thing with Cleric's new channel divinity uses. I'm... I'm kind of okay with that. That's not good for it, but it's still, like, god -fly. It's neat. It's kind of just a variant of, uh... Like, the... Uh... Tasha's channel divinity update. Yeah, pretty much. When is the second uh, rise of second rise of Kermaroth? Uh, the second rise of this Kermaroth. guy never left. Uh, the second rise will come about when um. Oh. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was it. Okay. Uh oh, spaghetti meal. Uh, but the second Rise of Kermoroth will come around when I do a second playthrough of either Kingdom Hearts 1 or Kingdom Hearts 2, which is going to happen. Um, yeah, because to be fair, when you were doing that, uh, there weren't exactly as many viewers and there wasn't as much uh, fancy things going on. No, there wasn't. It's basically just the game. Yeah. Um, that will change. Uh, one thing that I definitely will get changed is um, both of those games are going to be made a lot harder for me. Are you going to be doing a fucking level one run? I'm going to be doing a level one run. Oh, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> one does You're going to get your ass beat. You're going to get your ass beat. To answer your question, eventually. Who knows, we might even have a Kermaroth graphic by then. Into the pits of hell you go. Shut up. Don, did you ever find out if... Again! My, if Minecraft will work? Um, it is very shaky, unfortunately, at the moment. Also, server's expensive. Can't blame you. I I will def. It will definitely be a thing. There's a site I use for free ones. It will definitely be one. Yeah, I know. I didn't fail. I know. I failed that horribly. The second I fell into the pit, I knew it was like I. But was it the first time you fell or the second? Ah, uh, shut your mouth. But, uh, I'm so sorry. I am. I am just bullying you all stream. You're fine. <laughs> you're one of the mods. That's like half your job. And, 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 sorry, Kier. We weren't trying to ignore you with your previous things with like the cactus secret. I apo I apologize. That's fair, it is nearing that time, and then... I flew too close to the sun. Also, yeah, no, you get food. Kira, you get food. I, I ate before stream, I'm fine. For once. Uh, 
Uh, so stream will actually go. <gasps> go I oh. <laughs> I accidentally read ahead on the PDF. Oh boy! Oh boy! Quality tested this. Monkeys. I'm entirely convinced. Probably. I'm entirely <laughs> like, you, like, you know that meme of, like, the monkey with the typewriter, and he just finishes typing, and he just, the next panel is just him ripping it out of the typewriter? That's why, that's why I feel like the most recent UAs have just been. Okay, so, 7th level Elemental Fury, Potent Spellcasting, Add Your Wisdom Mud to Cantrips, Primal Strike. Once on each of your turns, when you hit a thing using a weapon or beast form, attack in wild shape, deal an extra 1d8 cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. It, it's just the divine strike. They literally, and guess what? Melee and wild shape damage bonuses are still worse. Oh, come on. Because <laughs> a flat plus 5 is stronger than a plus 4.5 on average. Fair. Yeah, I will admit, I have been kind of all over the place, Ubayashiki. That is the nature of the beast with me sometimes, unfortunately. I am just all over the place. That was unfortunate. <laughs> death. <laughs> uh, uh, all the death. Kirby Marie Damasi. ABI, commune of nature, you always have commune of nature prepared. Okay. How the hell? How in the hell did I miss that? Also, don't think uh, it wasn't noticed that there are Tubbo and Ranbu emotes. Those are recognized in this in this household, <laughs> at least by me. Yes, they are. <laughs> Later, Dom will go like this. <laughs> yes, yeah, something like that. K O. If I don't keep him up all night with the with a P with by screaming PDF documents in his ear. Look, I will, by all accounts. There's like 12 pods of Deathwish coffee upstairs. Do not think I wouldn't drink all of them in one bowl. We are on page 21 of 77. <laughs> we choose to ignore that. Fair. <laughs> Did you make it? Just barely. Within that one second standard. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I've been using my stream deck to just catch the clips in this because it has happened so many fucking times. It is actually kind of nuts. There are so many clips of this one point of this one Kirby playthrough of just me barely making it. Target time, minute thirty. Please, please. Anyway, more back to the druids. <sighs> the commune of nature, you get commune of with nature always prepared. Same thing with how druids always have commune. Druid really just seems to be just nature flavored cleric with a different sub with a different like spell list. Which is dumb. Yeah. They really did just turn Druid into Cleric. Which is just... stupid. It is. Uh, level 15, Improved Elemental Fury. Primal Strike now deals 2d8 rather than 1d8. Go get some charge on that phone. Go charge that. Go charge! 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 
Charge me, Doc. Doctor, are you sure this will work? <laughs> I have no idea! I'm an hour and a half long car right now. Oh no. You just dropped right in his gullet. Please be fast enough, please be fast enough. I don't think I was fast enough. Karam is sapping my percentage. Karam, what did I say about sealing others' power? Uh, not anything yet. I thought I said, no, don't do it. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, you gave that order a little too late. Uh, uh, good thing. Uh, and up. hell yeah, Smash Bros. and Pikmin. Hell yeah. Pikmin is another game that's probably going to be streamed at some point. There are a lot of games that I want to stream that are just on here that are like... Gonna like how, like how, one of these days I still need to fight you in Pokemon My Scarlet versus your Violet. Oh, yeah. Dom, please stream Pikmin too. Oh, I intend to stream all of the Pikmin games. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get. Uh... Oh, hey, Pikmin's gonna go, but you know. But hey, Pik, but it will be, it will be streamed. Do a pick marathon. You know what? Uh, if I can figure out a way to stream Pikmin. Hey, Pikmin. I mean, I can totally do that. Asking for a friend, clearly. Okay, I just barely missed it again. But yeah, no, pick my marathon, totally. I'd be down for that. Hence one of these days, one of these days. I, actually, out of my... T I don't own my... Up. My Wii versions of Pikmin 1 and 2, but I still own the GameCube versions. I never owned the Wii versions. I think I have the GameCube version of Pikmin 1, and then I managed to snag the new play control versions on the Wii U Virtual Console. That is fair. 3% going into lessons might not be back to chat for left. That is fair. It was nice having you here. Please charge your phone when you get a chance. Oh sevens in chat. I never got onto the potent spellcasting on Improved Elemental Fury. No. <laughs> I, I'm not actually strictly sure which is better on 
on Druid, honestly. Either or, really. But, uh, potent spellcasting for Like, it was pretty cut and dry, which was stronger for Cleric, but, uh... But, uh... <laughs> Potent spellcasting when you cast a primal cantrip with a range of 10 feet or greater. The spell's range increases by 300 feet! Excusez-moi. <laughs> Thorn Whip extends it to the next zip code. I heard you like. Th I heard you were in divine. Divine. I heard you watched Vine! Yeah, you're about to become one. 18th level beast spells you can cast while, uh... while in wild shape. Except for anything that has a material component with a cost, or consumes material component. Which I'm pretty sure is just what it has now. And then at level 20, Arch Druid. Whenever you roll initiative and have no wild shape uses left, you regain one use. Uh, you can convert wild shape into a spell slot, choose a number of your unexpended uses of wild shape and convert them into a single spell slot, and use... which use contributing two spell levels. For example, if you convert two uses of wild shape... Oh, so every single use of... A uh, wild shape for a spell slot conversion counts as two spell levels. Okay, so, so two so two wild shapes gives a fourth level slot. That's not too bad actually. Uh, issue is that you only get four. Still... But that's still an eighth level spell slot. That is still an extra eighth. Very level. powerful. Yeah, that is. So and you still get the uh, ten to one aging. Okay, so that's that's nothing too too bad. Circle of lands. Change notes. Circle spells now let you pick a different land each day, so you can swap around. You're not locked to your original choice. That is really cool. I I like that. Change. On long rest, your druid will adapt to whatever habitat they are now inhabiting. That's pretty aight. I'm okay with that. The spell lists are shorter because they can now change lists every day, at least for land. Which, uh, that makes sense. That's fair. Land's aid, now a new third level feature, less druid, expend wild shapes to heal or harm in an area. You know what? Fair enough. Land was never the wild shape. Uh, druid, land was kind of the default caster druid. L land was druid plus, essentially. Land was Druid Plus with emphasis on the casting. Moon was Druid Plus with emphasis on the wild shape. Oh, yeah. Uh, natural Recovery is now 6th level and replaces Land Stride. And enhances Circle Spells. Nature Ward has been redesigned to give to be more useful and interact with circle spells, and Nature Sanctuary has been redesigned to give the druid another way to use wild shape and to provide protection to the druid and allies. Okay. Oh, but they cut the amount of lands that you could choose. That I'm not okay with. There are only four things. There are only four choices. Arid, Polar, Temperate, and Tropical. So, Desert Druid, Tundra Druid, Temperate Druid, because I can't think of a better name, and Jungle Druid. Uh. Arid grants Blur, Burning Hands, and Firebolt, cantrip at third level. Oh, all of them give a cantrip. Uh, yeah, all of them give a cantrip. That's neat. Hmm. As well as a first and second level spell uh, at third level. Uh, fifth, 
Arid grants Fireball. Seventh, Blight. And ninth, Wall of Stone? Okay. Sure. I would have thought they would give you Wall of Fire, considering all the previous spells, but okay. Looping for a new cutter. Fair enough. First half of Searching the Oasis. People like their tomatoes. Jesus Christ. Tomatoes. 12 million, 362,445. Mamma mia. Globally, the account for inhaled objects is over is almost three billion. I'm good. That's a lot of suckage. Uh, Polar grants fog cloud, hold person, and ray of frost at third. Okay. At fifth, sleet storm. Sleet storm. Ooh. Makes sense. That tracks. Yeah, that tracks. Seventh, ice storm. And ninth, cone of cold. Arid grants sleep, misty step, and grasp at third, and shocking grasp at third. Hmm. Lightning bolt at fifth. Freedom of Movement at 7th, and Tree Stride at 9th. I don't, I don't mind those, honestly. They're, uh, yeah. they're, they're pretty tight. Tropical grants Acid Splash, Ray of Sickness, and Web at 3rd. Stinking Cloud at 5th. Polymorph at 7th, and Insect Plague at 9th. I don't see how that fits tropical, but... Have you ever been to Florida? Okay, bad example. Florida is just... Florida is just, you know, Florida. Because this is Florida. <laughs> that does not look like a jungle spell, that looks like Florida. <laughs> Yeah, fair. Stinking Cloud from all the pollution, Polymorph because everyone there. Because, uh, have you seen Florida Man? I'm pretty sure that is not a human, that is a creature. <laughs> he is a CR-37 creature. I don't even know what goes- it doesn't even go up that high. He just somehow managed to get there. Bugs. Sickness. The wikes. Oh. Because you know, there's always the con flu at, at Disney World. Disney World. Oh, yeah. At Disney World. Third level also, you get Land's Aid. That's a magic action. Expend a wild shape and choose a point within 60 feet. Okay. Uh. In a 10-sphere radius centered on that point, each creature in the area must take, make a con save or take 2d6 necrotic. Or, oh, and in addition, one creature in that radius regains 2d6 HP. So the, can... damage, the damage and healing increase by 1d6 at 10th and 14th levels. Okay, that's not... So, what they did here was they took the alternate use for... Wild Shape that was given to all druids in the previous druid UA and just gave it to land exclusively. And gave it a damage mechanic. And basically turned it into a wonky version of Wither and Bloom. Okay, that's... Which, I mean, fair enough. Natural recovery, tapping into nature, da -da -da -da, recover magical power, spells of first level or higher that you have prepared from your circle spells feature. With... Oh, you can cast one of your first level or higher circle spells without expending a slot per long rest. In addition, when you finish a short rest, you can choose expended spell slots to recover. The spell slots can have a combined level that is equal to or less than half your druid level. 
round up. And none of the slots can be six level or higher. For example, a six level druid can recover three levels worth of spell slots on a short rest. I, so either a third level slot, a second level and a first, or three first. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good, honestly. Tenth level, Nature's Ward. G you gain immunity to the poison condition, and you have to a damage type based on your current like land choice. So, Arid, Fire, Polar, Cold, Temperate, Lightning, Tropical Poison. Okay. And 14th, Nature Sanctuary. As a magic action, expend a use of your wild shape and cause spectral trees and vines to appear in a 15-foot cube on the ground within 120 of yourself. They last for a minute or until you're incapacitated. Your allies have half cover while in the area, and your allies gain damage resistance of your nature's ward while there. And you can move the cube up to 60 feet as a bonus action. That's not bad. But it can never leave a radius of 100 feet of yours. Okay. But, I mean, what combat has a map that's 100 feet, feet wide on one end? Yeah, good point. Save for, like, maybe final bosses that are scra skyscraper-sized. Circle of the Moon! Oh boy, moon time! Yeah, they really, really butchered it in its original UA. I heard that one. Let's see what they uh, did this time. Circle Forms have returned from the 2014 version of the subclass, thank god. And in this version, the feature is improved at 6th level and is now called Improved Circle Forms. Okay, so... Okay, fair enough. Uh... Oh. Oh. Uh, Combat Wild Shape. Now lets you use either your AC or the Beast's AC, whichever is higher. The feature also lets you have Moonbeam always prepared, which is cast while in... And you can cast it while in Wild Shape. That's nice. As in previous Druid playtest, you can also cast Abjuration spells while in Wild, wild Shape. Okay. So that's good, especially so. considering they changed almost all healing spells to Abjuration. So it lets the Druid, even if they do want to go absolutely unga bunga, they, they can still do things like throw out healing words. Yeah. I don't believe the level one to keep the. No, I have to believe the level to keep the blueprint. God damn it. Okay. Moonlight, st Moonlight Step is a new 10th level feature, which allows the druid to teleport, and Lunar Form is a new 14th level, which enhances the other feature of the subclass. We'll be the, we will be the uh, judges of that. Mm -hmm. Circle Forms, your maxim at third level, your maximum challenge rating is, is one at third, which normally that is the level eight for everyone else. Uh, you also gain, you also get a compare AC uh, between the beast and your AC, which includes any armor but not a shield, and while in that form you use whichever is higher. Okay. I mean, I'll take the, you know, you if you have, if one form or the other has the higher stats, use whatever's higher. I like that. Temp HP! You, whenever you assume wild shape, you gain a number of temp HP equal to the form's hit points, or three times your druid level, whichever is lower. Okay. Uh, so, for example, if you turn into a wolf, which has 11 HP, as a fifth level druid, you gain 11 temp HP, since three times your druid level is higher than the wolf's hit, hit points. Fair. Also, uh, Kirna is saying, make your good reads account. I will get on that! <laughs> I am doing that right now. Thank you for the reminder, babe. I love you. Is that like some book-themed OnlyFans or something? Uh, Goodreads is basically a app for tracking books, for tracking and rating books that you have read. Ah, okay. So it's, 
So since I uh, consistently keep forgetting which vo which omnibus volume of, of One Piece and which uh, volume of Pokemon Adventures I need to look for next, as well as any other books that I'm dealing with, it's uh, good. it's good for organization. It's, it's good to just sort of keep track of what books I already own and what I have read. Yeah, I do. I do. I have bought uh, more copies of specific mo- Dom, this- go read, this is how to you lose the time war. Uh, I would, but money. Library card I don't have a library card. I do all my reading like BW does their reading through fanfiction.com. Or AO3. A lot of also, I think it's fanfiction.net. One of the two. What? Go get one? Uh -huh. PW still has a card. I, I just never got around to getting a library card. Want you too good for libraries? No, I spent so much time in libraries in high school. I also nearly threw a kid into a library once. But you know, that's neither here nor there. Cutter, 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 where's cutter? Oh. Okay, Buzzsaw Cutter loses out on a bit of the speed. But it really ups the attack power of Cutter, which I am absolutely here for. Uh, it It's saying for me to set a goal. What should I set the goal to? And yes, you haven't told... And I haven't told the trick to Jacob either, because I wanted to let you do it. Because it's your trick. Also, Jake... Jacob. I said Jacob. Stream. What? <laughs> I'm so used to being called Dom on stream. <laughs> Forgot. Forgot for a hot second. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, with, with it literally just being me, Mamel, and you at this stage. That That's fair. That is fully I fair. I think because I don't know where Drippy went. Uh, they, they seemed to have disappeared. And, uh... You're, you're fine. Yuri, Yuri's phone fucking died. You're fine, I just... I just had a moment there, that's all. Fair enough, fair enough. But, uh... Fair enough. Uh, Kier, uh, any recommendations on number for book goal? So three books? Oh, okay. Reads has been established. I think I can do a month.
I don't think that worked out quite as you intended. Nope. There you go. First down. I don't think I got the target time by a mile. And fair enough, Kier. I need, I need to read more other than just all my manga. I do need to do that, so... Yeah, same. I like, I know, luckily, Goodreads does recognize manga, but... <laughs> Good. Manga is good to... Uh, it is, but I definitely need to start reading a bit more. I've gotten... And, like, I know I am very close to finishing Nine Eyes of Lucian, like, as an audiobook. Which is one of those that I have to take off. Do they have it on and, uh, I don't know. I bought it on st on Spotify. Yeah. I'm about a third of the way through Legends and Lattes. And most of the other books that weren't packed have now just been packed today. So I think the, o so like the only books that I still currently have, uh, unpacked at the moment I think are literally just Legends and Lattes and Apothecary Diaries Volume 1. Apothecary, Apothecary Diaries are just good. And yes, I know. I'll see about trying to get a, uh, uh, a, uh, library card when, when moving. Mayhaps. Uh, I still need to eat dinner myself, honestly. I, I do, I do want to make food afterwards. I, I got enough in order to get me through stream, but, uh, afterwards I'm going to make something. Yep. Oh, uh. Back to third level, Combat Wild Shape. While well, in Wild Shape, you can cast Abjuration spells, except spells that have a material component with cost specifies or consumed material, and you always have, wild, have Moonbeam prepared while in Wild Shape, and you can cast the spell in that form without material components. So that's basically your new bonus action, is just going to be moving Moonbeam around. Uh, that's that's not too bad. Uh, improved what Circle Forms at sixth level. Wild Shape now has a max CR of your Druid level divided by three, round down. In addition, each of your attacks in Wild Shape form can deal normal damage or radiant. You make this choice each time you hit with attacks, so you lose the ability to make your your beast forms. I, I did they ever have a thing that made their beast attacks magic? I, I don't remember. I think they might have. I'm not sure. Maybe. Eh. I think I think that was what the elementals were for. I think so. Also, question. Mm -hmm. Needle, bomb, or hammer? Bonk. Did I even need to ask? I, I asked because... Uh, for the sake of politeness. Uh, for the sake of politeness and to see if we're both on the same page, because I was also thinking bonk. Also, are you ready for this boss fight? Uh, no, I'm not. Do you, do you know what this boss fight is? No. <laughs> oh. Cause I do. Is it? It's gonna be fun. Is that not ridiculous? <laughs> Silly dill. <laughs> Armor plated prince, a silly dillo. Welcome to the cage. Damn it! I keep wanting to get up. <laughs> I, I keep wanting to get off the big hard hitting charge attack. And his response is to just put you in the cage and shake you like a cocktail. Bonk. 
Oh, that hit for hard. Yep, welcome to ham welcome to the charge hammers. What in what is that? His girlfriend. Or training dummy. I don't know. Hit pause. It might. It might be. Uh, it might enlighten us. No, there is no. Ah, shit. Right, there is no pause lore in this game. I'm also very close to dying. And you didn't get give yourself back a maximum tomato. No. I mean, it's fine. I can take the the coin loss and all that because I still need to beat this guy hitless. I also intend just to bat him over the head with a hammer. Fair enough. I I I I want this man's skull will be a pancake by the time I'm done with him. Fair enough. Uh 10th level, Moonlight Step. You can magically tell and support your spell for reappearing in a burst of moonlight. As a bonus action, you can teleport over 30 feet to an unoccupied space you can see. You have advantage on the next attack roll you make before the end of your turn. Okay. You can use this feature a number of times equal to your Wisdom mod and regain all uses on a long rest. You can also regain uses by expending a second level or higher spell slot. Okay. So, basically giving your wild shape a misty step with a reduced range. But, granting advantage on your next attack. That's not bad. Yeah. And then 14th level, uh... Lunar form, movable moonbeam. While your moonbeam is active, you can move it up to 60 feet at the start of each of your turns. No action required. No more using your bonus action for it. Your bonus action is now is now something you can just do with your teleports. Moonbeam now just moves on turn start. And shared moonlight. When you use moonlight step, you can teleport one willing creature. You can also teleport one willing creature so long as they are within ten feet of you, and you teleport it to an unoccupied space within ten feet of you of your destination. You know what? That works. So give give a buddy a shared teleport too. Sometimes you just want to. Sometimes you just want to be happy, happy morons. Happy hopping moron, moron squad. squad. <laughs> oh, that actually, oh, that was actually an achievement. Oh, well, dang. What's this scroll, though? Blizzard ice. So that's the tier three of ice now. So now I just gotta clear him without getting hit. And given how spastic, spastic this guy is, uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be an interesting time. Friend request sent. You know what this guy reminds me of? He reminds me a lot of Ripper Roo. Is that just me? No, no, I see it. Oh no, not a third! No more gotcha, please! It's not showing up, oh boy. Uh. 
Ah, uh, there it goes. Ho. Hi. E ho It is time for ice. Is so nice looking. Uh, I'll get a max tomato. Get one for the road. Oh. Oh. The Legends and Lattes has a prequel. Yo. Bookshops and bone dust. Ooh. Good to know, good to know. It's not full health, but you know good. You know what? Yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy an attack up just to see how this goes. Oh, I can only I can only hear it. I can only carry the attack up with a healing item. Okay. Got any more information for me, uh, Wise Waddle And the combined total of nearly over 600 million waddle bees. That's a lot of waddles. <laughs> Alright, we're now going into, I think this is world 6? Yeah, Volcano time! Port Red Gar Forbidden Lands. Port Captured Elfland must be further ahead. I hope you're, hope you're okay there, Elfland. Okay, one last subclass for Druid, and then we're done with Druid. It because is. it just said that Stars is planned for the new PHB, but it's, it's gonna be identical to the one from Tasha's. That's fair. But now we have the new one on the block. Circle of the Sea. Which I am actually really interested in. Druids of the Circle of Sea draw on the te tempestuous na natural forces of the world's oceans and storms. Some view themselves as embodiments of nature's wrath, seeking vengeance against those who despoil the natural world. Others seek mystical unity with nature by attuning themselves to the ebb and flow of the tides, following the rush of currents and waves, and listening to the inscrutable whispers and roars of the winds. Shiny. Circle spells! At third level, you get Ray of Frost, Gust of Wind, Fog Cloud, sh uh, Thunder Wave, and a Shatter. That sounds apt for a, uh, a Sea Druid, and also, uh, yes, cured up baked potatoes. Yes, baked potato. Baked potato, good. Level Sleet Storm and Lightning Bolt. Seventh Control Water Ice Storm. Control Water Ice Storm. That that's that's apt for 
a sea druid. Ninth, hold monster, conjure elemental. Hold monster, conjure elemental. Yeah. Okay, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Third level, Wrath of the Sea. As a bonus action, you can expend a use of a wild shape to manifest an aura around you in the form of ocean spray. The aura lasts 10 minutes and is dispelled on incapacitation. Dis dismiss it or recast. Hmm. At the end of each of your turns, you can choose another creature within 10 feet of yourself that to just make a con save against your spell DC or take thunder damage, and if the creature is large or, su or, large or smaller, be pushed up to 15 feet away. To determine this damage, roll a number of D6s equal to your wisdom mod. Okay. Now note, there is no statement of half on a success. Yeah, so it's literally just... And Khan is a very strong save across the monster manual. Yeah, it's hard to... But if it's tied to your spell save DC, and quite frankly does up to, like, 5d6 damage as a bonus action, that's not that bad. Nope, that's actually fairly decent. Issue is, is that uh, you have to be within 10 feet of whoever you're slapping. And you just used a wild shape to proc the aura, so you're probably not going to be in wild shape for this. But then again, wild shape won't help you with this anymore because you keep your HP count. Sixth level, aquatic immunity, aquatic affinity. You always have water breathing prepared, and you gain a swim speed equal to your. In equal to your speed, and if you use Wild Shape to to assume a form with a swim speed, that that form gain or blah, 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 blah. if you use Wild Shape to assume a form that lacks a swim speed, that form now has your swim speed. Nice. Also, Ubayashiki, welcome back. Yo, welcome back. Let's heckin' go. Welcome back, and let's. Go, phone hanging in there for the long haul. Come on, baby. Wow, the playback made me sound almost like Johnny Bravo for a hot second. Goddamn. <laughs> Man, I survived. I survived the phone invasion of Kermara. That's what I want you to think. I'd say try it and I'd wear your ass like a Muppet, but, um... You got something to say about Muppets? Uh... Enjoy your new brother and Freddy Fazbear. We don't talk about him. Dom, Kermaroth, and Moat win. Look, if I... I would love to have that. Shit, like, I'm gonna, like, a while back I recorded some, like, uh, like, stream, like, audio notifications in Kermaroff's voice and handed them off to this man. I have no idea. However, however, I am not very, like, pleased with their quality because I made them all very late at night when I was yeah. very tired when I did them. So... So, I would definitely re-record. Huh? Hey. Oh no! Oh no, Dom's mic scuff again! We've lost him! I hear him, but you don't! I have stolen his power to speak to the stream!
Dude, are you okay? Uh, there we go. There. We go. Okay, I'm good. There, I'm alive. Okay, okay, he lives. He lives. He has stolen his voice back from the Kermara. Damn it. Got hit again. Come out here, just spitting, spitting facts out here. I have also just been informed that uh, I am being drug out for food. Against my will. Because of course. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to end it on a uh, clap. Uh, clapping silly dillo over here because uh, this man has looked at me funny and I want vengeance. And as you're doing that, I'm going to be finishing the last few fe features of Circle of the Sea. Tenth level, Stormborn. Well, Wrath of the Sea, your Wrath of the Sea aura confers two more benefits. Flight, you gain a fly speed equal to your, equal to your speed and have resistance to cold, lightning, and thunder damage. That's not bad, I like that. And then 14th level, Ocean Oceanic Gift. Whenever you use Wrath of the Sea, you can manifest one willing creature within 60 feet of you, of you rather than manifesting it around yourself. I wish this was granted earlier because just putting that on the Barbarian is so much better than putting it on you. That's it. And the creature gains all the benefits of the aura and uses your spell save DC and wisdom mod for it. Oh, yeah. In addition, you can manifest the aura around both the other creature and yourself if you expend two uses of Wild Shape instead of one when manifesting the aura, and quite frankly, why would you not do that? Okay. If only just so that you get to f fly and have damage resistance. Oh yeah. And uh, as for the Smash Bros. Ultimate Viewer Arena stream, uh, yeah, no, uh, I'd be down for that. When is the, when is the best question? That is the that would be it. Yeah, and I, and I think we'd probably need, to, like, a more consistent, like, higher viewer base just to make sure that we're not just, like, maybe five people. Yeah. Definitely once the viewer, like, the consistent viewers gets higher and higher. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, smash. Smash stream. Yeah, no, Circle of Sea Druid honestly looks pretty good. I just wish Oceanic Gift's ability to share it came way earlier. Oh, yeah, I agree. Oh, mom, what's happening? I'd say let's... But let's leave this, because the stream's about to end. Yeah, stream's about to end, unfortunately, due to... Yeah, and I'll probably be getting food uh, when stream ends as well. And time to restart. Yeah. But, yeah. We get... are now on page 25 of 77. So we're a little For the entirety of the stream, we have only advanced uh, eight pages. Two, three, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight pages. That's that's. I mean, we have been getting distracted very repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ch <laughs> chat, chat has chat has very much uh, lovingly invoked uh, ADHD flashbang. That's not, that's not discounting chat. Love you guys. That's just the nature of the beast with me and Citrus.
Think I finally think I finally found the Oh shit. Now comes the hard bit. Because keeping track of that second target is a nuisance. No! There it is. Mm -hmm. As unfortunate as it is. Two more tries and then I, then I might call it stream. Yeah. Understood. Should I probably go back to Wallaby Town and pick up another attack boost? Probably. Will I? Mm. Maybe for the last attempt. Uh, last attempt or next attempt on stream. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. At least as far as I know, I'm not being at home for stream tomorrow because my family has not I wonder set. if their phone died. Maybe. Their, their phone might have. Who knows? I know Kira's making the big tater. Don't get shaken by don't get shaken like a cocktail. Crouch to act as your dodge. Because it has been the most reliable version of it. Like, Fair enough. Like, I've tried dodging with the game's dodge roll, and it has just not worked. He's coming back at you with the fucking cocktail tumbler. Tumblr. I don't want to go back to Tumblr. We've done our time. I've served my sentence. I've paid for my crimes. I don't want to go back. What's PMs there? Oh. Hello, Isaac. <laughs> Out of there, man. You have joined at the very tail end, unfortunately. Yeah. Sadly, it's getting real close to end of screen time. Don't get greedy, don't get greedy. I'm not trying to get greedy. <laughs> oh god, Isaac, that's rough, dude. I feel that in my soul. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. <laughs> oh! Right at the end! Right at the very end! Okay, you know what? To hell with it. Not... Hell with it, go to co get, get the drugs. It, can, it says it's going to stack up to five times. We're going to see how hard five times go. <laughs> we... this... Hello, chef. We require the good drugs.
wide. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can only hold one at a time. Okay, maybe not, maybe not that many, but I'm definitely gonna use two. No, no. The good drugs. Oh, it does. Oh, it only stacks at the timer. It doesn't stack oh. at the boot. Okay. That's dumb, but okay. Well, you might as well buy one more just so that you have it in the fight. No, no, it'll it just ex like the timer. Like I I know, but like you don't know if the fight will last longer than 400 seconds. No, no. The f Luckily, if I leave, the timer doesn't immediately end. So if I leave and it's like 357, uh, when I get back to the level, it'll start back at 357. All right, fair enough. All right. Hey, Kier. Uh, we are doing. We have just finished talking about Druid on the on the PDF, and we are trying to do our best to beat Silly Dillo without taking damage. We're gonna give it one more shot, and then stream's gonna end for the day because I have been drafted to go get food because no one in this family understands the concept of streaming. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Food good. Yeah, food. Food is good, and once stream ends, I am also going to be procuring some sustenance. At the very least, now there is a ebb and flow to the fight that I work with. I started jumping oh. and, I, and I got hit. All right. Yeah. And that's fair, Cure. Yeah, that's really fair. So. Yeah, no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna call it stream. We are gonna pick up on getting that last Waddle Dee from here in the original wasteland, and then we're gonna move on to the. I think World 6 next? Yeah, it's World 6. Anyway, thank you all so very much for tuning in. Thank you, Citrus, for being a good co-host and uh, beginning the D&D podcast. No worries, my guy. Thank you very much. Uh, I should... Hopefully, I'll see you all here tomorrow around 4 p.m. Alrighty. See y'all later, everybody. Later. Later.